morning everyone so how's everyone holding up it's minus 13 in st catherine's outside today and it's gonna be a cold one i just got up so yesterday was a really tiring day so i ended up sleeping in it's like uh 11 p.m 11 a.m and just woke up i have so much to do today and um, yeah i'm gonna get started with making a tea making some breakfast and let's get this dress from and now we're ready to go out and go to Brock's study. So let's do this. I have a feeling the weather's not gonna be good outside. <laughs> it snowed. Check it out. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. I have to clear the snow off my car and I don't know if the roads are good enough I think it should be okay I have a front wheel drive we'll be good <laughs> at least think something positive All right just wear some gloves kind of prep to remove the snow from the car hold on just put this on and yeah we are done clearing the snow from a car. So yeah, as I was saying, we're done clearing the snow from a car. It's really cold and I've been here for two years in Canada, but still not really too used to of the Canadian weather, I guess, in winters. Once in a while, it hits you. It is, it is awful. You guys must be thinking, why did I really clear up the whole car? I could have cleared up the windshield or whatever. So, I'm assuming some of you are not Canadians or don't know about this rule about Canada, but it's actually the law to clear off the snow from your uh, windshields and your windows, making every kind of visibility point clear, especially your sun, uh, your roof. Because, um, first of all, Canada is all about courtesy, you might have noticed that. And secondly, if you're going on the highway, you might be the snow might fall off your roof and maybe it might fall off uh, your roof onto some other car it might cause damage to that car it might obstruct the view and they might crash god forbid but yeah so keeping in keeping those things in mind it's always the best idea to clear up as much snow as you can and especially keeping in your mind about your windshields and your roof so yeah now let's buckle up and leave for brock as i was talking about it yesterday got a lot of stuff to do so yeah, I might as well make a time lapse on my journey to Brock. So stay tuned. This, this used to be my first year residence at Brock campus. So I used to live here for my first year. This place is full of memories. Now we have reached the Brock campus and you can't be in Canada in this weather and not short here day with the coffee so we have reached importance and we're gonna get some coffee and get our day started so update we got the coffee and we are in a parking lot which is in between the Brock residences and the Tim Hortons and my Brock sorry for that but uh, yeah, let me show you where the Brock is. It is right over there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try and zoom if I can. Mm, there we go. That is a Shimon Tower. I don't really think I've talked about myself. It's I know I, I posted my first video yesterday, but I haven't talked about myself at all. So, hey guys, nice meeting you. My name is Harry and I am a third year psychology major at Brock University. Um, I'm an international student from India and I came here in 2019. And yes, I got to, I'm, I'm one of the lucky people who got to experience at least one year of uh, non-pandemic uh, college life. But yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been quite a journey since 2019. 2019 to 2020 felt like like it, it just did not feel like much of a time and ever since the pandemic has hit it has been so chaotic so 
when it was 2020 i remember it was like january or something and uh when this whole thing about pandemic started right like i know the pandemic has been here since 2019 the end of 2019 but it was around 2020 that everyone started acting up upon it and it was around that time the university started closing uh early and they started asking the students to move out of the residences uh so since i was an international student uh, we had to kind of uh, make a plea that uh, let us stay here for another month at least the least that we have signed because we don't have any accommodations to stay somewhere else. So as I was saying on my right side where the residence is across the parking lot from Tim Hortons that's where I used to live and it's called the Quarry View Residence. So, uh, so they said that you might have to move from Quarry View Residence to the Village Residence which is basically moving from one part of the campus to another basically without much of a help they gave us dolly cards they gave us free taxis which was actually pretty helpful of them and honestly it's not bad on their part because they did not really know what was happening with the pandemic and they did not really know because there were no public health guidelines as well right so it was it was pretty chaotic so we lived in village residence i pulled in the residence with one of my neighbors from my old residence it was pretty fun so after almost that week we moved on to a new house and that house i'm not even going to lie like it did not have anything it did not have lighting it did not have any furnace the house was freezing cold it was outside like it's negative four degrees celsius that's what the temperature was at that time and the house was without a furnace and i was frozen so my neighbor was pretty kind so he let me uh you know spend most of the time in his house and eventually i ended up moving to the neighbor's house spent another year over there the landlord decides to sell the house so he gives us a very short notice to leave he gives us almost a month to leave so we move out of an of that house to a new house <laughs> my old house i wish i could show you guys that room that room was basically a garage which was converted into a room and it was humongous like everything was perfect it felt like everything's going perfect for once and then we got moved out of that house to a new house which is small but on the positive side, I've been learning how to adjust in different kind of situations, right? Because college life is all about learning how to do your own chores. It's, it's about learning that you can manage your studies, you can manage your job, you can manage how to live. You also get to manage, learn how to manage on food and all the kind of nutrition. And mom, if you're watching this video, hats off to you because I've learned so much that you used to do for me for the whole family which i did not really realize in the moment but now when i'm getting to live alone i'm learning so much so thank you mom and yeah that's about it now let's finish this coffee and let's head to brock it doesn't seem like a very nice weather today it is scary as hell <laughs> I'm officially tired. <laughs> I'm dead tired. Uh, I got a lot of work done today. Most of my stuff is done. Uh, what's the time? It's 7.45 p.m. I'm really hungry. Haven't eaten except anything except for breakfast. So I'm gonna head to Walmart. Maybe grab something to eat. Maybe a salad or something. And I'm really sorry if the video is coming over exposed. I think the camera settings are kind of weird right now. And uh, yeah. I, I kind of get breathless in this weather for some reason, I don't know why. But yeah, I am going to eat dinner and probably head to bed. Uh, if I make another clip, good. Otherwise, have a good night, guys. Take care. And if you if you like my content, please subscribe and like it. That really shows some appreciation. Thanks so much. Take care. Have a good night.